Okay, I've been sitting on this product for a while and I wanted to make a review about it a while ago, but I just didn't have the time. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take the time in order to talk about this product. So let's have a scenario. Say that you go on a picnic. Say you're out in the middle of nowhere and say you have some device, let's say it might be a smartphone that you use for emergencies. Let's say it's, um, I don't know, let's say you're one of those losers who vapes and everything and you're destroying your lungs using vape and you need to charge that thing and hopefully that Chinese piece of shit plastic battery in there doesn't explode in your face when you have it next to your mouth. But anyway, let's say you're out in the middle of the nowhere and you need to charge a battery, a lithium ion battery. So you're gonna need some power. Problem is, let's say you're out in the middle of nature, there's no outlets, so there's no place to charge anything. You might have a car where you could use a 12 volt uh, adapter and you could uh, plug it into the USB in your car, but let's say you're out in the middle of nowhere, you have no car. Let's say that there's a disaster, and let's say that there's absolutely nothing to use except sunlight, good old fashioned sunlight. Well, what we have here is one of my Chinese, uh, what are they called, uh, my Chinese, um, uh, Patrons to my channel sent me this solar charger. That's a 22 watt solar charger. And this thing actually has the power to slowly charge even large 3000 to 4000 milliamp batteries such as that in my iPhone. And I have the iPhone XS Max. Um, you know, I may end up getting the 11. I don't know. But um, basically, the USB 1 output on this thing, it has two outputs. The USB 1 output gives you a maximum of 2.1 amps, and the uh, USB 2 output gives you a maximum of 2.4 amps. Now, the reason why that's important is let's say that you have an iPad and you want to charge an iPad. Well, if you don't have enough power, as you know, iPads won't charge. In fact, they had that problem with USB 2.1 on... Um, uh, desktop computers and people were plugging in their iPads and they were like, wait, wait, wait a minute, why is my iPad not charging? The problem is there just wasn't enough voltage. So what happened was later on, all computers started coming with USB 3.0 and then after that they switched up to USB-C, which can easily charge things over USB. So um, this solar panel allows you to, it, it's, a, it's a folded case and it allows you to just unfold it. And when you unfold it, it has enough panels where you can charge your phone and your iPad. So if you got one of them Galaxy Note 7s, well, you don't want to use that because them shits explode. But, okay, let's say you got, like, one of the new Galaxy Folds. Oh, no, you don't want to use that because those Galaxy Folds are garbage and they break really easily because people are peeling the screens right off them. Um, let's say you were smart and you bought an iPhone instead of one of them Androids. Well, now you have something where you can charge your phone in the middle of nowhere. You can be at a picnic. You could be, well, let's say you're near the pool. You Let's say you go to the beach in Dominican Republic. There's no car. There's no outlet near you. Let's say there's a power outage because I had that problem. I was in Dominican Republic in uh, Puerto Plata. We had a power outage the night of a wedding. And right after the wedding, there was a power outage. It was hot as fuck in that room. And the problem was, you know, until that power comes back on, you never know. There's no way to charge anything. Now, as if the sun's out, well, that's what you got this for. And most people carry rechargeable batteries, which is, you know, that's good. But the thing about it is, let's say uh, you don't have the rechargeable battery, or let's say it's rechargeable batteries dead. This thing can actually charge your phone and the rechargeable battery. So without further ado, let's uh, do a little unboxing. And, uh, like, this is the second one of these things I've gotten. Um, so basically, it's made by Kotec. Kotec power to the best, yeah. All right, let's get this open. Everything's everything has to come in a nice box now. You know who started that? That was Apple. Before Apple, things came like they just threw shit into the box. Now when you get a box, everything's nice. Everything's nice and clean. You know, you never would have had that if Android phones had stayed in charge. But you know, they're not. They're definitely not. Especially that Samsung Galaxy Fold. That thing was a piece of junk piece of junk, an absolute piece of junk. I, I've never seen a company embarrass themselves this much. It's the most embarrassment I've seen since the Chernobyl accident. Okay, so what we got? Okay, so uh, it's, it's amazing how much dexterity I have with one hand. 
So here you got these clips right here, which you can attach to your belt. You can get those anywhere. Here we have USB type C. Now I remember when these USB type C cables were really, really expensive when they first came out. Now you, you're probably seeing them everywhere. Like you can get them from the gas station to charge your phone now. So here, this thing has a very, very nice material. This is really, really nice. In fact, this thing almost doesn't even feel like a solar panel. So when you look at this, you've got these four solar cells, these big, big, big four solar cells right there. This is absolutely made with a really nice material. This is a very nice material. And uh, that material helps protect the solar panels. Now you gotta be careful because what the last thing you want is to break these things so you can't fold this thing sideways, right? But this is absolutely nice and it has like such a really nice design to it. Now, once again, why would you get this? Mostly for emergency purposes. Now I'm pretty sure there's somebody who could think of a reason why they would wanna have a solar panel that has the ability to charge with 2.4 amps because basically you can charge just about any USB device with this panel. And if you're one of nature travelers and nature hikers, you probably already have something like this. But the reason why you get this one is because of the material. This is just really, really nice material. Really, really nice material. It, it almost looks like it has enough microfiber water resistance where, you know, little droplets of water aren't gonna seep into it. This is really nice. In fact, I don't know if it'll be able to work without the sun, but I'll try to test it under, you know, a regular light and we'll see if that can work. But I doubt it will, unless you're using like pure sunlight because sunlight has the power to move the photons through the uh, semiconductors here. So um, the charging portion, is in this zipper and right there you can see you have two specs you have USB 1 which is only 2.1 amps this is what you would use to charge something very basically let's say you have a pair of Bluetooth headphones let's say you're out in the middle of nowhere you got a pair of Bluetooth headphones and you need to charge that and you need to charge your iPhone now you're obviously not gonna get a full charge right away with this you're gonna have to, you're talking about hours of sunlight you're talking about maybe two three four five hours but the white one obviously signifies USB 2.1, while the blue one signifies the uh, USB uh, um, powered USB, which gives you up to 2.4 amps. So the first one's 2.1 in white, and the 2.4 is the blue. Typically, when you see USB 3.0, that's when you see a blue one. I'm actually surprised that they didn't make both of these white, but I, you know, this thing doesn't obviously pack the power that USB 3.0 coming from like a desktop computer like this desktop computer right here you can see that they have the super speed specs um, all of my uh, ports for the most part have the super speed specs but I guess the reason why they didn't paint this blue or yellow or white not white I'm sorry yellow or red because yellow and red also signify something that means that it's an always on port so that means if the computer was plugged in and the computer was off. If you plug it into yellow or red, for the most part, it'll charge even if the computer's off. Blue means that the computer has USB 3.0. If you turn the computer off, the port turns off. But yellow and red stay on even if the computer's off. So that, you know, these USB specs are really important to know because this way, like, if you plug something in, you won't be surprised later you come back and nothing happened, you know? Um, but uh, I've been, you know, experimenting with a lot of stuff like the last Chinese product that I got was actually this um, pad charger right here for my Apple Watch and my iPhone. And uh, I've been using it for a while. It works perfectly. And it's a wireless pad charger because, as you remember, Apple was supposed to release what was called Air Power, but they had problems with it overheating. And rather than do the stupid thing like Samsung would do and actually ship that piece of shit out and, you know, burn down people's houses or blow up some planes... What they did was they said, nah, we're going to discontinue it. So they stopped it and, you know, and that's it. And it, it doesn't exist anymore. So what I did was I went on eBay and I found the next best thing. So this is the two-part charger where they have the phone right here. The Apple Watch goes right here. Or you can tilt this up and you can hold the Apple Watch. And then you plug that into, um, you know, a USB 
um, this is my 12 watt charger or whatever. And then right here, this is the one where it's, you know, this is powered USB 3.0 that goes right to this. So you can do fast charging, but this is the old Apple charger, which they shouldn't, this shouldn't even exist anymore because the problem is the newer phones have such big batteries that this takes way too long to charge anything, but they package this with everything because by charging things slowly, uh, that actually helps increase battery longevity. So that's another thing that I can say about this. The sunlight that you are able to get out of these four panels. And it's absolutely amazing how compact this actually is. Because this is so compact that you can just fold this thing right up. And uh, it's so compact that it, it would fit right in your purse. You know, this is so compact and so nice, you know. But it's amazing how much power they're actually able to get out of these solar panels right now. It's absolutely amazing. So um, basically, I'm going to put on my site uh, the, um, what is it called, coupon code where you can buy this from my uh, Chinese supplier. So basically what it is is they give me products, I test products. If I like them, you know, I make videos about them and everything. And um, I've, they've given me, so there's different, I have like three or four different, um, uh, what are they called, patrons to my channel. And they give me all types of products. And I've gotten like free tires for my car. I've gotten free car parts and stuff. I've gotten free LED light bulbs. I've made a couple of videos about certain things. But um, this is actually a really nice device. And I probably will get use out of this the next time I find myself uh, out in the open in like you know a picnic area or something so and, and which also reminds me i'm about to go in july i'm spending july in the philippines and i may also go to bali indonesia um if you watch any of my videos you'll know that the last place i went was um thailand i went to bangkok thailand made a big five hour video about that so i'm about to go to the philippines and everything and as you know in certain parts of the philippines the power goes out like you can be at a place and the power goes out and in some cases it can go out for a day or two. So the thing about it is to have my phone or to have my Apple Watch or to have my headphones or something without power, it's basically they're useless if they don't have power. And sometimes you have a rechargeable battery. After three charges, that runs out. So what happens if you have a situation where it's an absolute emergency? You definitely want to have you a, a couple of these. If, I don't even think one of these is enough. You might want to have two. But this is something that any person who travels should definitely have. Because if you, let's say, let's say you run out of power in the desert or something, you can put this right on top of your car or you can put this on top of something like, you know, a beach blanket or something, and you can recharge your phone in the middle of nowhere. And that's assuming you have a signal, you know, so you can actually use it. But at least you wouldn't be without, you know, your navigation system. At least you wouldn't be without a compass, you know. So um, this is really nice. And um, I think the price is worth it. So look for the coupon code in my URL section. And uh, if you have any other direct questions about this, just ask them and I'll absolutely be certain to answer. This them. is the sun right here, uh, better known as Sol, which is basically the center of the Sol solar system. And um, what you see right here is also my iPad mini. So with my iPad mini, I, uh, what is this? This is 99% charge right now. I already, I keep it charged because I use it in my uh, car every now and then. And then I have the solar panel right here and it's laid out on my Jeep. So let's simulate a situation like, let's say you go camping or something and uh, you're in a place where there's no electricity and let's say for whatever reason your car can't charge your, uh, your battery here. Um, well, let's say you're out in the middle of nowhere. You plug this son bitch in. And you plug it in and the 2.1 socket, 2.1 socket will, let's see, let's see, does it start charging? Let's see, all of a sudden now it doesn't want to show me the goddamn charge, the charger rate. Okay, yes it is, it is charging right there, now you can see it is charging. Okay, so right now, okay, it went down to 98% probably because this thing had been sitting in the car, so it was probably already lower than 99. But rest assured that the mere fact that this thing actually shows that it's charging means that there's enough power moving through these solar panels in order to charge the iPad. And if you can charge an iPad, you can pretty much charge any, uh, you know, phone, computer device, whatever. You could probably, you know, I, I would say... 
USB-C. I would have to get a USB-C cable before I could figure out whether or not this would be enough to charge a laptop. That's actually an interesting test that could be made, but the um, problem is I'd have to actually have a computer that charges through USB-C. Now, I'm pretty sure one of those MacBook Pros might be able... No, not a MacBook Pro. One of those MacBook Airs that charges through USB-C might be able to handle this. And given maybe two days worth of charging, you might be able to get a full battery, maybe even three days. But, um, I mean, the mere fact that you can do this, this is actually pretty cool, you know? <laughs> so basically, that's it. And um, I'm going to post this video, and I'm going to post a, uh, what is it called, a, um, a coupon code, so that if you're interested, you can get one of these for yourself. But um, I consider something like this a really good thing to have, especially if you live in one of those shitty disaster-prone areas, like where you get, like, tornadoes and stuff, and you get, like, a lot of power outages. Because you can never be too careful. So um, that's basically that. So if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to ask. Thank you very much.